I've been here since 2017 and 2017 is when the glass project began we had nothing and now we are this big or getting bigger so when we started recycling local chairman he was very you know interested because many projects had come around the area but never really been so in touch with people so when we came in people were interested in knowing that they can use all these bottles it was something different it helped them because the few women who came in some of them have stayed with us it has helped them find a place where they can do something else and something even if it's 2000 for someone who doesn't make a lot of money in uganda 2000 you can feed a family a few artists have been able to grow like bernard he's been with us from the beginning and you know he's just watching him grow and become a bigger artist than he was he has been something very very exceptional Chebando means a lot to me. I grew up here, and that is where I learned my art as a profession and a career. It's where I got my family's friends work to. Mount Bernard is my name, who sometimes I use, aka Beno. I was born to the late Ozele Ben and Margaret Oshida in the slums of Naguru. That's around 1972. After high school, I went and studied art and design. I started doing art in around 2002. I've taught art and mentored many young artists in the community of Shewandu. Hello, I'm Gisa Brand, Director Africa Arts Collective. Welcome to Shewandu, our community based in Kampala. It's more of a pre-urban slum area where we are trying to work with the arts to change its environment socially, economically, and also see how can one build sustainability through all these forms of engagement. We are currently at our community art space whereby we are trying to set up our glass recycling studio. Uh, this is our office, Africa Arts Collective. And I would like to show you inside and see what we're doing. This is Echilawuli Community Art Studio, and this is so far what we have done and set up with the studio. We have been currently running glass cutting, which is more about recycling of glass and using cold process of water, which brings about the cutting process. But we are more focusing on to the hot glass which we are currently trying to achieve and set up. As you can see, we have a furnace, but we're also looking at acquiring more other tools which can be able to help us to set up the studio for the hot glass process. We are also trying to expand the studio because it's currently a small space and we can be able to carry out workshops whereby we can invite students, university students, primary school kids, kids from the community too that can come and see the whole process take place which is something new that is in Uganda and also hasn't been happening. Mami Gisha na Janga no nyaban to me ngako ba jiba to sumisi. Nezi jani batandi ko to sumisu sala majira si na fu ya fune ch fo wano tia ch ya iti ya muku gaba fuka mba kun mba inu kunga nida asubole ukwa yamba ukwa gundura mumiri mu eje mikono nga jino sala machupa ichi vintu wevi to ukwa idiriza. African Art Collective means a lot to me by providing me with a new form of art called glass art and also in glass blowing, giving the community of Chevan a new opportunity. <laughs> 